What up, YouTube? Bro Talk 1000, man. Back at y'all with another video, man. Thanks for stopping by. Again, man, please hit that like, share, subscribe button, and holla at me if you want to get one of these right here, bro. I got them made, man. I got them on deck. Holla at your boy. But anyway, and I'm, I'm going to rock some different flavors and different colors, man. You know what I'm saying? Just, just so, so y'all know what time it is. Y'all know what to do. But y'all hit me up, man, and I got those on deck. But anyway, man, let's jump straight into it. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Okay, so according to an article from uh, The Sun, uh, they say, uh, who is this article by, man? I want to give everybody they, everybody they just do uh, by somebody called, somebody named Jack Fig, okay? I right. says, Deontay Wilder was left knocked out and twitching by Dillian White and sparring years ago, back in 2014. All right. So, okay. I, I don't really want to read the whole damn thing. I'll read it, give you a little, give you a little insight on what's going on. It says Brixton Heavyweight White was used as a sparring partner for former heavyweight ruler Klitschko in 2014. Uh, the Brit revealed sparring partners were taking a beating left and right and center, including current unbeaten. WBC champion Wilder, okay, uh, White to keep his uh, feud with the Bronze Bomber going. Told Sky Sports, Klitschko left the six the six feet seven Alabama out for the count after the sparring took a rugged twist. He said, "I've seen him getting knocked out. Vladimir knocked him out." He knew what happened. He had his hands up. He was roughing up Vlad, bringing the smoke, and he was going wild. Vlad backs up, changes his footwork, fainting and fainting, jabs to the body, throws a faint, throws a, a, a faint jab, left hook. Wilder had his hands up. He was going. Uh, it wasn't no knockdown. He was knocked out cold, properly twitching as well. Okay. That's nice. That's That's beautiful. That's a beautiful story. Uh, Dillian White, beautiful story, but why won't you get in the ring with Deontay Wilder? You know what I'm saying? Why won't you get in the ring with him? Uh, uh, back back in the day too, Tyson Fury also confirmed that, right? He said, "Oh yeah, I've, I've already seen uh, 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 Deontay Wilder get knocked out in sparring." You know what I'm saying? Now, usually, what happens in boxing, in sparring, stays in sparring, but. The hate for Deontay Wilder is so real. Like, he's so unbelievably talented and powerful, and nobody can beat him that they have to, like, try to break him from within. You know what I'm saying? Like, little girls in the locker room. Like, you know what I'm saying? You know, you got the popular girl. Everybody likes her. She's smart. She's funny. She's nice. She this. And then the other girls are standing around, like, hating on her. You know what I mean? Just hating on her because they can't be like her. They can't be her. That's how, that's how this is. That, that, that's what this situation is. Because why does that matter? Why does that matter? The man has knocked out everybody in a professional fight that he's been in the ring with. So why does that matter? If we take everybody's losses, you say, oh, this, this dude lost. Or this dude got knocked out and sparring. This dude. That doesn't mean shit. Canelo Alvarez is not the same fighter since he fought Floyd Mayweather in 20, what was that, 2013? He fought. He's not the same fighter since then. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 J. Rock Williams just got knocked out by uh by uh Jamal Char J Jamal Charlo, right? And like what was that? 20, 2017, I believe. Got knocked out. Came back. Stayed steady. Stayed dedicated to the craft. Improved as a fighter, and just beat the shit out of Jared Herb. So things happen. People change. People get older. People can get better. Let's not act like these. Act like a uh, uh, Wilder doesn't have room for growth, room for improvement. All fighters have room for growth and room for improvement. So where where's Wild where's Wilder at now? I mean, where's a uh, Klitsch, Well, Klitschko's retired. You know what I'm saying? He's old. He held it down for a while. And even if he did knock him out and spar him, bro, like I said, that don't mean shit. I I, I still pretty much believe Wilder would have gave Wilder would have gave him the smoke again. Wild is that type of that type of champion at heart. If you can't tell that by now, bro, he's the, he he would want that back, bro. He would want to get that get that back. And I believe that now he's more confident than ever in setting up that right hand. See, there was even there's a difference even between Wilder from like that first Bermain Stavern fight through the first Luis Ortiz fight 
till just recently, this last Luis Ortiz fight. Y'all can't, you can't see like the growth, the evolution. He's being more patient. He's waiting, like, you know what I'm saying? Even in the Tyson Fury fight, the first Tyson Fury fight, he was a little bit, you know, going going crazy, just looking for the headshot for that one right hand. You guys don't see that he's learning to be a little more patient. He's he's starting to set it up a little bit better now. I mean, dude, Wild is a dangerous dude, and he got that equalizer. But what y'all not giving him credit credit for is his ability to set up that right hand, bro. He never gets credit for, it, but hey, he just keeps winning and keep knocking people out. And y'all keep hating, y'all YouTubers and them them YouTube fans keep hating on Deontay Wilder, man. Please stop it, bro. Stop it, bro. Dillian White after after uh Fury after he knocked out Fury. February 22nd, I believe, is the fight. After he knocked out Fury, I want to see I want to see him fight um fight Dillian White. Just to get it out the way. Because it's gonna be an easy fight. I don't think the fight goes freaking four rounds, bro, with Dillian White. I think he puts his head right there and gets his head knocked smooth off, bro. Let me know what y'all think, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. It's your boy. Thank you for stopping by once again, man. Get you one of these, man. Bro Talk 1000. And I'm out here. Peace.